Hi there, welcome to Mark Bank. And uh, in this uh, time and work video, we are solving a question where it says that A and B working separately can do a piece of work in 9 days and 12 days. So, if they are going to work alternatively, beginning with A, in how many days the work will get completed? Let us try to solve this problem through LCA method over here. And in the next video, we will be solving the same problem through ratio method. Through ratio method. And then we will do the comparative analysis as to which method is good for us while we are attempting the same problem in a competitive examination scenario. So, uh, in LCM method, I must have told you that you need to take the LCM of all the days that are mentioned in the problem. So, what are the days that are mentioned in the problem? The, over here it is 9 days and 12 days. So, what are we, we going to do? We will be taking LCM of 9 and 12. And this LCM comes out as 36. What did I do? Since 12 is larger, I will be thinking of table of 12. And I will try to find out the first number which is divisible by 9 and 12 both. So, 9, 12, 1 jar 12. 12 is divisible by 12 but not by 9. Right? So, 12 2 is 24. Which is still not divisible by 9. 12 3 is 36. So, 36 is the first number in the table of 12 which is divisible by 12 and 9 both. So, we will take the total work, we will take the total work to be 36 units and since A does, A does the whole work in 9 days, we, we can say that 36 units will get completed in 9 days by A, isn't it? So, in a day, A would be able to finish 36 over 9 that comes out as 4 units. Hence, A does 4 units of work every day. Now, we can find out how many works, how many units of work B would be able to finish in a day. So, B does the whole lot of work in 12 days. So, that means B does 36 units of work. B does 36 units of work in 12 days. So, in a day, B would be able to finish 3 units of work. Isn't it? So now we know that A does 4 units of work per day and B does 3 units of work per day and A is going to start the work. The first day A would come and A would be contributing 4 units. Second day B comes and he does 3 units. So in 2 days, in 2 days the total work that will get completed is 7 units. Now the students make this mistake over here. They say, they say very simply, they say that if 36 units will complete it in how many days provided 7 units of work will get completed in 2 days. And this is where, this is where we go wrong. Because they are not working together, they are working alternatively. And we somehow need to reach 
the nearest number that is lesser than 36 and is a multiple of 7. So can you appreciate that in, if in 2 days 7 units of work will get completed, if I multiply both of the sides by 5, may I say that in 10 days, in 10 days 35 units of work will get completed and in these 10 days A has worked for 5 days and B has also worked for 5 days. So A must have done work on 1st day, 3rd day, 5th day, 7th day and 9th day. B started the work on 2nd of the day, 2nd and then 4th and then 6th and then 8th and then 10th. Now who is going to come next? A is going to come next. So this analysis is wrong. So 35 units of work is already completed. Work that is left is nothing but 1 unit. That is coming from 36, negative 35. 1 unit of work is to be completed. And who is going to come? A will be coming. And A does, A does 4 units in 1 day. So in order to finish only 1 unit of work, A is going to take what? 1 fourth of the day. Since we have already seen that A and B together are taking 10 days to finish 35 minutes of work, another one unit of work will get completed by A in one fourth day. So total days will be, total days will be 10 plus 1 over 4 that comes out as 41 over 4 days or you might also say that this is nothing but 10.25 days whichever is your option either this is 41 over 4 or 10.25 or, or the answer is 10 1 over 4 all of them are correct so what did we, what did we do in this video we tried to solve this problem by using LCM method we took the LCM of 9 and 12 and then we also came to know that A does 4 units of work in a day and B does 3 units of work in a day and if they are going to work on alternate days starting with A in 2 days they would be able to finish 7 units of work and we need to find out the multiple of 7 which is closest to 36 that is 35 units. So in order to finish 35 units of work they together will be taking 10 days and A must have worked for 5 days and B must have worked for 5 days. Now only one unit of work is left and on 11th day A is going to come to work since A does in a day he finishes 4 units of work so he would take only 1 fourth of the day to finish 1 unit of work and that is how we are getting that this work will get completed by A and B in 10.25 days. I hope you are getting this logic. If you have got some doubts, some queries pertaining to this video, I advise you to write us on faculty at the rate of mockbank.com and I will see you in the next video solving the same problem with ratio method and let us see what happens. Till then bye bye and take.